American Top 40. And now the current hit by the Englishman who became a pop star for the second time in his short life of 22 years. And he's handling it very well. Not so the first time when he was 17. Those were the days when he'd go into a recording session at the big company he'd signed with, and he'd get the feeling that the company's producers and engineers saw him as just another unit on the assembly line, that big business was manipulating and exploiting him. Well, those feelings stood around inside him until the emotional strain broke him down physically. He wound up with tuberculosis, which kept him out of the business for more than two years. During that physical recuperation time, he got his head together, too. So when he started working again about a year or so ago, he kept control of his own situation. Now, he's bigger than he ever was. And he's a smash here in the States as well as in England. His current hit is number 32 this week. Here's Cat Stevens. Yes, I'm being followed by a moon shadow. Moon shadow, moon shadow. Same position as last week, number 32 from England. Cat Stevens and Moon Shadow. The hits from coast to coast. This is Casey on AT40, and it's time now for the current hit by the top recording and concert artist who, when he first became a star in England six years ago, couldn't handle success. He was a star at 17, developed a classic case of the swelled head, offended a lot of people, including some of his closest friends, and ended up in the hospital. He remembers it like this. I wasn't ready for it. I lost sight of what I really wanted. I think part of it was being idolized by all the girls. I was smoking too much, drinking too much, and constantly worrying. So I ended up in the hospital. I thought I'd reached the end. My music seemed gone, and when I tried to count my friends, I couldn't count too many. Well, that was the artist talking. Then he met Barry Crost, who became his manager, and Crost gave him the self-confidence and direction that he really needed. And in the past 24 months, the singer-composer has made a sensational comeback. He's become an international star, on talents that not many people guessed he had when he was a teen idol. His latest hit debuts at number 35 this week. From England, here's Cat Stevens. That's from the number one LP in the land at number 35, Cat Stevens sitting. Casey's Coast to Coast. Now in American Top 40, I have the current hit by the English artist who's the only cat I know of who's had a trip in a flying saucer. Or at least he says he has. A few months ago, Cat Stevens was quoted this way in the newspaper Rolling Stone. I saw this flying saucer shoot across the sky and stop over me while I was lying in bed. And it sucked me up into it. When it put me down, I shot up in bed. It didn't feel like a dream. I know it was real. Cat says his interest in flying saucers is something to occupy his thoughts. Well, I don't know about the flying saucers, but his current record is flying high at number 31 this week. Here's Cat Stevens with The Hurt. The fourth week on American Top 40 for this record by Cat Stevens, it's titled The Hurt, and it's at number 31 this week, up two notches, as the countdown rolls on. It's from coast to coast. Now on AT40, I have the current hit by a popular singer-composer who's really batting a thousand on the pop chart. He's the only British male solo artist in the rock era to make the top 40 with his first 10 consecutive releases. Beginning with his first back in 1971, he's hit with Wild World, Moon Shadow, Peace Train, Morning is Broken, Sittin', The Hurt, Oh Very Young, Another Saturday Night, Ready, and his 10th at number 39 this week. Two fine people. Here's Cat Stevens. Cat Stevens from England at number 39, falling six notches this week with two fine people. Casey's Coast to Coast. Casey's Top 40. We're counting down the 40 biggest hits in the USA. I'm Casey Kasem. CT40 originates in Hollywood. Now we're up to a remake of Wild World. It was originally a hit for a star who stepped out of his wild world and gave up everything. His music, his money, even his name. Back in the early 70s, Cat Stevens was one of the hottest singer-songwriters on the charts. A young Englishman of Greek descent whose real name was Stephen Georgiou. He hit with a string of top ten hits. But by the mid-70s, the hits were fewer and fewer for Cat Stevens. And finding himself increasingly unhappy in the music business, he told Rolling Stone magazine, quote, In order to perform, I'd have to drink. To get drunk. To be out of my head. So what made him change? Well, one day after a late recording session, Cat Stevens went swimming on a lonely stretch of California beach. 
Suddenly, he was trapped in the grip of a strong tide that pulled him away from shore. Certain that he was about to drown, Cat began to pray, and he promised that he'd dedicate the rest of his days to working for God if only his life were spared. At that moment, miraculously, a strong wave swept him back up to shore. Well, Cat Stevens has lived up to the promise he made during that moment of terror. He became a Muslim, changed his name to Yusuf Islam. Today, at the age of 41, the former pop star runs a school in London and works for a group called Muslim Aid that helps needy families. And does he miss being rich and famous? He says, quote, not at all. My faith is the most valuable thing in my life. That's what happened to the singer-songwriter who was once known as Cat Stevens. Now, here's a song that he took to number 11 in 1971. At number 28 this week, here's Maxie Priest with his version of Wild Words. After peaking at number 22 last week, Englishman Maxie Priest falls to number 28 with his remake of Cat Stevens' early 70s hit, Wild World. Stop, oh. 